identify as a bioarchaeologist, and a bioarchaeologist basically studies human skeletal remains from archaeological sites. I'm working at a site in Chihuahua, northern Chihuahua, Mexico, and I'm using biogeochemical methods, stable isotope analysis, to look at geographic origins of the individuals who were sacrificed, cannibalized, um, and have trauma related to interpersonal violence. So I'm originally from the United States, and I applied to several programs in both the U.S. and Canada. And Calgary just really impressed me the most in terms of the facilities here, the resources, and of course my supervisor was a big draw for me. Calgary really makes you feel like you're part of a family, and they really care about your success as a student in terms of scholarship. And for graduate students, half the battle is funding. <laughs> you know, funding your research or getting scholarships to pay for your living expenses. Um, and I think when you have that burden taken away, you can be a better academic, you can do your research better, you can worry less about the extraneous stuff that you don't need to be thinking about. The advice that I would give to somebody who is on the fence about coming to the University of Calgary is to really take a look at the resources that the university offers, both financially and in terms of graduate support. Um, they're phenomenal. I couldn't have asked for a better place to do my PhD. I've been given opportunities that I wouldn't have received elsewhere. And then Calgary is just a, it's a fun city. Uh, it's, it's fun to find things to do in the city, but we also have access to this amazing playground right in our backyard um, with the Rocky Mountains. And so it's been fun for me getting out and exploring the area and getting involved in outdoor sports and when I can. <laughs>